What's going on, America? It's your boy, Cavi Kingpin, just for the hell of it. We are in the building on this beautiful Saturday, and we got some beautiful guests in the building. But I'm going to let the uh, the usuals uh, introduce themselves. Go ahead, y'all. Yo, uh, Slumdog Millionaire here. Uh, Mr. Great Day Day. We got a great topic today. Uh, I'm real interested to hear what our special guests have to say on this topic, too, man. This should be a good one. And it's justified, um, you know, lovely Saturday. I'm curious as well to get the perspective of our visiting uh, guests on the show. So, uh, without all, you know, without any delay, let's get this shit cracking. And my two guests, y'all can introduce yourself, please. Okay, this is um Baby Harris. I'm one of the special guests. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chance, and I'm the other special guest. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, <laughs> Slumdog, I'll let you lead this topic. <laughs> topic for today? Yes, sir. Well, all right, yeah, so the topic is um, sexual harassment. Um, we're going to be talking about one guy, JK47. Shouts out to him. <laughs> he, uh, you know, beat a case actually recently. And, um... But it's, I'm curious to see what everybody thinks on this topic, especially like, um, you know, dealing with it in the workplace and, you know, so forth, because uh, a lot of it does happen, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes people really don't say anything about it, but I feel like people should start speaking up more about it. Yeah, um, I, I was, well, this came across my desk, this whole situation. So JK47, he worked at a place, we, you know, a big company. And he caught a sexual harassment case. He beat the case. And I believe now he has another one on the table. So <laughs> I'm like, hold on, nigga. You keep doing this shit. Something ain't yeah. right. So, Something ain't right. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I just want to get the, and I say preferably sexual harassment. He ain't got no pudding pops in his freezer, does he? <laughs> <laughs> Little Pill <Yeah>. Cosby. <laughs> Little Pill Cosby. So I want to get the, uh, you know, get uh, our new guest uh, insight. So, Chance, what do you think about this situation? You know, when I heard about the first one, you had me thinking, like, okay, maybe, you know, it's just a case of bad luck, and she's just one of those kinds of females that we all try to avoid to be like. But when you told me about the second one, I'm starting to wonder <laughs> what's going on. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of need to hold the whole story now. Okay. Uh, baby hairs, what do you think? Um, I must get out the loop. I don't know the situation like that. He just told me he had a sexual harassment case against him. I don't know if it's like the whole entire story. I don't know like what happened actually. Okay, let me break it down. So like, elaborate for me. Say it again. Yeah, you know, like elaborate for me, like tell the story. Y yeah, so <laughs> the guy is JK forty seven, very uh unusual uh fella. Um look like he uh he take apart computers and put them back together while porn is playing. That's the type of cat he is. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I don't trust him, but he cool. So uh, whatever the case is, he was at work and a situation occurred where I guess he was trying to holler at a female. And when he went to holler at, like talk to her, he gave her a hug and she went back and said he groped her. He did all this stuff. But when they looked on the cameras, it wasn't true. But the situation, like the detectives came, he was interviewed. It was a mouth swab. I think don't. Quote me verbatim was a rape kit. <laughs> it was the whole shebang for a hug, but that's what's I mean, happening. So, for a hug. yeah. So go. <laughs> what do you do? Wait, what do you do? Shoot a little on the damn um, shirt on the pants? I, I don't. I don't know. But baby, here, go go ahead and elaborate. <laughs> um, it's not funny. But I, go ahead. I don't know why she would. I, I'm so confused. Like, why did she say that you? sexually harassed her if she just gave her a hug. It has to be more to the story, or she either lied, I'm sure she did, but uh, I'm not sure. I don't know, like, he I don't a, know. He on his second case, too. Oh, really? Yeah. So what happened with the second case? <laughs> we haven't seen him in a minute, so that case is still. It has been a minute. It's been a minute. It's a sealed case. Damn. I'm not sure, but I'm asking you just from we telling you from you hearing the story. If he on his second case, what do you think going on? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
Jess? Um, Jess? <laughs> she, she flustered. <laughs> no, right quick, right quick. Right quick. I'm they, thinking he's up to no good. He's doing something he's not supposed to be doing. He's, uh, yeah. he's not helping himself. He's a kinky I'm little with, devil. Yeah. Yeah, I'm putting you putting himself in these situations, and I don't, I don't understand why. Don't you think he would have learned your lesson once if a female wasn't so happy with you hugging her? That maybe you shouldn't feel so free to hug another female in case they might take it the wrong way. <laughs> Teflon Dawn. You would think that. You would think that. You would. It could be I a mean, complicated. Like I, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, no. I, I, I'm with you there. It could be a definitely a complicated situation, but I mean, considering a hug escalated to that far, even though it's just a hug. Uh, go ahead, Justify. Like, this up, and that's, it, it's funny I brought this up because with the whole sexual harassment in the workplace, it's kind of a double. It's kind of a you don't want nobody being felt like they're in a situation to where they are uncomfortable, especially you know if it's something you know if there's anything that is. Sexually, sexually harassing. But on the other hand, I've seen it to where a woman, a dude, can get away with doing that to a woman based off of how the dude looks. And <laughs> when somebody, no, huh? I said you you mentioned that before on a previous show. Yeah, because it's the whole thing of if listen, if Shamar Moore comes at you, one of you ladies, <laughs> I'm actually ladies because we got two ladies. If Shamar comes to you and says, "Hey, I want to lick your ass cheek." <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, Justify. You know, somebody might not say, somebody might say, Oh, it's all right. But if Flavor Flav comes to you and say the same thing, they automatically I'm gonna say, say, I'm say. Gonna sexual harassment. Yo. Yo, you know, Slum Dog, what you no, think? I'll be, honest, I'll be honest with you. It depends on who's saying it. If I'm exactly. friends with the person and I know that they're just joking and we can joke around like that, I'm going to take it like a joke. And I'll probably right. say something inappropriate back. But if it's some random guy that I don't know, yeah, I'm going to take it the wrong way. And we're going to have a pretty bad conversation about that. Wow. But that's the other thing, though. A lot of people, like, and I told people at my job, I work with a lot of younger kids. And I'm like, I got to look at it like this. You got to get to know the person you're joking around with. You got you to know who you can and cannot joke with, who you can and cannot possibly give a hug to, you know, whatever, exchanging the pleasantries because... Not everybody's going to go for that. I said, you can't, cause, yeah. you know, somebody, like I said, will sit there and say they feel uncomfortable, you know, based off of that. And it could be something that might just seem as minimum, as minimum as just a regular hug. Or in some cases, like you see what Joe Biden's going through, the woman said he touched her shoulder yeah. and she yeah. felt uncomfortable. But the funny thing with that one was they showed a picture of her the same day doing the same thing to him that he did to her that she said was sexual harassment. So it, you know, it's a, it's, it's one thing that one nobody you can't really play around with because, you know, you don't want to sit there and look at it, look it off. But at the same time, there's women who use that, and it could not be that, but they'll say it. There's a dude at my job that got fired because he was messing around with a nurse on every floor of the hospital I worked at. <laughs> don't and you? <laughs> one nurse, God damn. The fuck? And, the, and oh. the nurse on the first, the nurse on the 14th floor found out about the nurse on the ninth and 10th floor. But she went to HR and said that he sexually assaulted her. That sounds like a whorehouse, man. Yeah. Hey, that's a hospital? Said it's um, a hospital. It was, keep in mind, I work at General Hospital. It sounds like a soap opera. That's what it pretty much is, you know. So, you know, when, <laughs> once that, and when that happened, that was her, her first go-to. She said they said that because she wanted him gone. So it cost this dude the job just because he wanted to play Latin lover. He's a Mexican. <laughs> yeah, so, so, right, so right. I called him a Latin, I called him a Latin lover because he was sitting there. He had a woman on every floor, sixteen floors in that hospital, minus two floors that you know not have, that don't have nurses on it. You know, he was hitting fourteen floors. Boy, savage. Right mm -hmm. quick. Mm -hmm. Right quick. Um, baby hairs. I have a question. You, I heard. Um, you had a. Uh, you was approached by uh, our dollars. He was the previous subhuman on our show. And um, Slumdog, can you elaborate to our, uh, um, Baby Hairs what a subhuman is? Oh, a subhuman basically is uh, any any person who does dirt, does wrong, is a scrub. It, it can range from uh, like a, a number of things, you know. But any anybody, you know, in this situation, of course, an old-ass man coming to a young woman, 
and expecting to get something from her. You know what I'm saying? So, so baby here is. Can you elaborate on that situation? Okay, so basically, um, one of our coworkers. His name Ira Dollars. Ira Dollars. Yeah. Well, him, um, he he's approached me like mm, about four or five times previously <laughs> the last couple of weeks. And oh yeah. So okay, I didn't know that. She yeah. like, he's talked to me for, like the past like two weeks now, and he always comes up to me and compliments me and tells me he likes my aura, he likes my hair, he likes the way I dress, he thinks I'm pretty and stuff like that. He's like an older, older guy. He's like, you he said he's forty seven. You guys said? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big, yes, that's a and grown ass man. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Time out, time out. He said he likes your aura. Yes, my my aura, like the way I dress. Yeah. Yo, what in the hell? Yeah. Oh, that was mad. He, like, tells me his life story, and I'm not really interested in like that, but I just listen because I'm nice. Okay, but, um, <laughs> but, yeah, um, the other day, he, he was talking to me, he, like, when, okay, well, I'm 26, by the way, and I'm, he's 47, so, <laughs> He um invited me. He was out. able to drink when you were born. Oh, exactly, shit. exactly. Yeah. Poor so Jesus. like, he came up to me and he was telling me, oh, he likes my hair and how I look and stuff. And he actually invited me out to breakfast. And being a nice person that I am, I I said I would think about it, but I really wanted to say no. But I just told him I would think about it. But I, I never ended up going, but. Yeah, that's the situation, but what do you guys think? So I have a, I have a question. Seriously. Okay. Okay, you he he he's up in age and you just turned yeah. you just turned 26. Um I had a conversation with you, a side conversation, and you said you was like you get kind of uncomfortable when older men yeah. approach you fires in that manner. Yeah, I do. Cuz I feel like they're like you just feel like so like you're talking to a child. I don't know, like the older like the older man, like the forty seven and fifties and sixty year olds try to talk to me, I'm like I can see your daughter, that's like so nasty. Hey, little girl, you want some that, that's facts though, you right. Because yes. it, that's, I, just so, it, I just feel so uncomfortable and I feel like my dad is like like, they're my dad or something like that. I don't know. Oh, shit. I just feel like I'm Like, I, I yeah. feel that's con- some type of form of sexual harassment, in my opinion. I think mm-hmm. it is. Do you think so? I think so, yeah. That's true. Because I, it's I like, after after the second time, you're not interested. You haven't, we, no numbers been exchanged, nothing. Like, I'm not interested. You keep doing this, yeah. like, I'm going to just say, okay, let's go. Your aura, your hair, like, in person, you're beautiful, but you look young. I thought you was like 19, 20. Mm-hmm. You okay, but like. It's harassment for looking at your aura. Oh. I don't mind. Yeah, 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 right? But go ahead, I baby. Don't go ahead. I don't mind a compliment. Like, just, just the way you look at me and, like, try to invite me out to, like, date, like, on a date or something. I don't know. Mm, mm, no, I'm good. Chance. Yeah. What do you think of that situation? Yeah. I think she should let me know next time, and I'll go tell him no for her. Oh shit! <laughs> Yo, I'm not kidding, girl. I got you. <laughs> like, I mean, no, I mean, she, Chance, she, you don't think that's like prime example? If this an older gentleman and she's young, and he talking to her, you don't. That's kind of you don't. That's creepy, right? Chick, it's disgusting. Oh shit! Our dollars. <laughs> I I always thought it was weird of him because. And we've said this before. He's never really talked to anybody his own age. He always goes for younger women. Right. Oh, wow. And, and it really didn't hit me until until Kathy had brought it up a little while ago, and then you start to notice trends that he does, you know? And that's one of the reasons why we gave him subhuman, because he constantly does stuff like that. But in high, like he'll, he'll preach, you know, oh, we got to be good to our women, you know, this, that, and the other. But on the back burner, when no one's looking, he's doing this dirt like this. You know what I'm saying? And, but uh, he's trying to act like this good guy, and I can never understand why. Slumdog, what did he say? What he 
all he have in his world. Oh, Jesus Christ. He said all he has in his world is his talk and his word. That's it. That's it. He said all he had. All he had. He said all he have is his dick in his <laughs> word. What do y'all, ladies? I mean, from that just mind state, what do y'all think? He said all he have is his dick in his word. Wow. He's not hey, he's almost, he's almost fifty saying that. Like, what do y'all think? Like, start with chance. Just from that mind state. I, I think he's a piece of shit who needs to get a life. Oh, shit. Baby he needs hair. to leave young girls alone. <laughs> yeah. Baby hairs, what you think? Dude, this is all new information to me. I didn't know all that. I was just like, but now that I know that, I'll, I'll just keep an eye out, and I try to keep my distance next time I see him. Oh, okay. Because it's, it's, oh, it, it's kind of like the same thing every time you see him, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, it's never it's just, hey, what up? Like, it ain't no days. Hey, what up? It's always got to be more than what it is, right? Yeah. So that's... I mean, you know, every time I see him now, y'all ever seen the old cartoons where uh, you'll see, like, a beautiful woman in the cartoons and then the dude will turn into a wolf or something like that? Oh, shit. Every like that I Michael Jackson. That, yeah, the old like wow. Oh, fuck. That's what... And, and the that's, thing... And the thing, that's a, another thing, like, with uh, JK47... I don't know what's going on with him. And what I want to do is a part two with him, which I'm going to get an interview. Y'all get to talk to him and get his psyche and get in his mind and understand what I, I'm not well, going to call him an animal. Say it again. He's got to explain the second one. Yeah, he got to explain the second one. Yeah. Like yeah. It was just, you know, she did him wrong, but now he's got another one going on. Yeah. And something ain't right. Exactly. Exactly. So that's why I was trying to get in the psyche and, don't get it twisted. Females can sexual harass males also, too. I oh, believe. Yeah, sexual oh, yeah. harass. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, but the whole thing is, it's a double standard, though, because if a woman do it, first thing they tell do is don't act like you ain't like it. Exactly. No, but see, I, yeah. I think guys yeah. need to get to that point where they're comfortable speaking up about it because I feel like a lot of the time, even other males will make other guys feel like, oh, you're going to complain about a female giving you attention. You like, you, old, yeah. you old whole ass nah, nigga. That's you, you whole know. ass nigga. <laughs> you like, you old whole ass nigga. What you complaining for? Exactly. <laughs> so, this is you know, not. You this... know what's messed up? Go ahead. Uh, back, uh, back to what some dog was saying about the cartoons when they turned into wolves. When they would sit there, you ever notice that when they would howl, they would be like, they would be like, how old is she? How, they was pretty much saying, how old is she? What the they fuck? They was all huh? shit back then. This is my thing. Um, sadly, especially because you might get an unattractive woman that be bothering you, and she do all the sexual harassment and whatever the situation. You can't really go to anyone like authority or a boss. Yeah, you can. I mean, you can, but it's not gonna be, be like as Wanda. effective as uh, uh, our dollars or something. Like that nigga, I think that nigga fuck around and get ten years if baby hair is telling him. He get about ten years, like. Just, I personally think he already on the wrong because I think he changed his name. Yeah, I don't think that's his well, real name either. We're in the middle. We're in the middle. Very suspect. Just like, but I mean, but those type of cats come in all different shapes. And like JK forty seven, he look all he looks suspect. He look like the guy in the corner be beating off, staring at you with a pick with a pick sheet in his hand. That's what type of cat he is. He look right or wrong. He look like that. That's and because that's true, man. Like, if you look at him, he does look like he looked like the tall like, dude like, uh, from my... over here while y'all do y'all thing. <laughs> he like one of the dudes from the Space Jams, the Monsters, the tall dude. <laughs> oh shit, he does look like he that. Do. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> he do. Just with glasses, he does. Yeah, he does, he does. and he he nervous. He's really nervous until he get in the situation he want to be in. Then he start getting, then he get comfortable and stuff. So 
I don't know. He beat the first case, so everything is allegedly. The second case, we got to see what's going on, see how he maneuver it, because obviously you keep getting sexual harassment cases. Something is wrong. Something is going on. Uh -huh. Agreed. Yeah. Now I'm starting to think that yeah. he really beat that first case, or is this just another job he had? I, yeah. I, yeah, because he said, he said, uh, he said, I beat the case, bitch. I did the race. I don't even know what that means. Oh, well, I mean, no yeah, thing yeah, is, that's travel that's what you used to mean. Say it again? If it was another place, it would travel with them. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. You gotta think about it. They don't take that shit lightly these days. Especially not now. Mm. Chance, uh, have you, have, yeah. um, at the job, now, currently, do anybody make you uncomfortable? You ain't gotta say their name. I'm talking about now. No, I've, I guess I've been, uh... Low key. And lucky, I don't have that problem over there. At least not yet. <laughs> oh shit. So hopefully you don't have it at all. Exactly. I was gonna say. I, I, I can't say dear, right? I think I'm, I'm good. Not get, I'm not gonna get um reported for saying my dear. You know, Ooh. dear. Hopefully, you know. <laughs> What the fuck? Huh? This, this nigga talking about? No, no, you can't. No, because yo, Dio, yo, Dio usually had a joke. He was talking about. He said he asked the girl. He said you look, you look pretty good today. If that's okay with you. I yeah, I mean, sometimes you got a big ass. Som <laughs> sometimes you got to do that. I remember uh, when I lived in New York City, um, we used to do security for like this when they had actual record stores, like CDs and tapes and stuff. And <laughs> we, you stand at the, uh, that, I'm telling my age, we stand at the door. Yes, you are. I know we stand at, older than you. Yeah, you're a grown man. Um, we, sta we stand at the door and the, uh, this this female walked in and he's like, "Yo, you got fat ass." I said, "Hold on, bro. I know this nigga ain't just say that. I know." And she said, "Excuse me, what you say?" He's like, "You got a fat ass." They fired him, and it was an African cat. And I'm like, "Yo, bro, hold on, man." And before he left, Don't I asked be the him, worst one. "Yeah, but I asked him like, yo, bro, are you serious, man? Like that's something you keep to yourself. You don't turn around. All right, she had a fat ass, but you can't just go around telling everybody they got fat ass." Yo, Those are the same dudes that sit there and be like, right, oh, I'm a right. priest, right? I am a priest. <laughs> Holy shit. Akeem is my cousin. <laughs> but you know no. what? We are, Because no. at the end of the day, we males and females, we all look at stuff. I'm sure Slumdog Justified, you look at girls, they got a fat ass or, you know, you be like, yeah. Yeah, but you know how not to, you know, sit there and do anything. You're not just going to go out and say it like... Yeah, like, uh, like those I'm women, bad, like, like the women be looking at them dudes with the gray sweat. It, th that's what I'm saying. A test of... Chance of baby here is y'all see dudes y'all find attractive, right? Yeah. So if a dude respectfully do walk around with gray sweats and he got a print, y'all not gonna look at him? <laughs> <laughs> she laughed. Uh, <laughs> that's what they be looking for. Huh? Those are, they damn eyes go some quick. Hold on, hold on. Chance, would you, you know would you look at him? You know what? <laughs> It's just like girls look wearing booty shorts and half of their butt is sticking out. You know it's showing and you're shooting it proudly. Well, that's only if they actually have something to fill them. I've, oh, shit. I've seen a lot of women. Yeah. Shout they out to T-Berry with the little wood. <laughs> <laughs> Baby hairs, you you a look, right? Uh, Occasionally, I will. <laughs> okay, respect me. <laughs> also, I'm going to send it. Uh, we did a show called The Little Wood That Could. Shout out to our executive producer. He talk about having a little wood, respectfully. So I don't think we're referring to him. Oh my God, really? <laughs> no, he did a oh. we did a whole show about that. We did a show. Yeah, but so what if it's small? <laughs> you gotta be the first woman I ever heard to say that. Right. <laughs> hey, it's not about the size, it's about what you can do with it. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have a big ass if you don't know how to shake it. Ooh, okay. I'm just saying. Got a point. But I'm just saying, he not going to be wearing no gray sweats no time soon, so. Thank you. You never know. <laughs> He's at the little gray. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't, I, I give him respect. He got a lot of courage. He has a lot of courage. He has, he has a lot of courage for doing that, I guess. Uh, it's sad. Yes, it's a does. disability. Hey, but, kicked um, off the show, man. Say it again. There's no shame. Huh? Right, right. What you say? It's like a Kickstarter for it, man. <laughs> Kickstarter, that's sad. Man. Hey, what you thought he said, kickstand? He said kickstand. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! But um, uh, my thing. Let's get the let's get the final thoughts on this. We are gonna start with uh Slumdog Millionaire. 
Baby, I like the door. Oh, as far as uh, sexual harassment and stuff like that? Yes, sir, well, and, and JK47. Uh, well, well, we definitely need to talk to him. He, he got some explaining to do. Right. And, uh, you know, as far as sexual harassment goes, I feel like anybody who, who has dealt with it should report it. I myself had to talk to someone because of uh, somebody at work before. Oh, shit. And, uh, you know, she, she's calmed down somewhat now. But, but uh, you know, I was afraid to, you know, try to talk to somebody before just to, because of the backlash that I could have got for it. Because they like, really, nigga, you know, you're going to tell them a girl for something like that. Right, quick. Is it is it a current tell situation? Tell them, you say something. Is it a current situation or no? Uh, no, no, not anymore. Not anymore. But she does still work there. All right, you go behind the scenes. Let me know. You know go ahead. About <laughs> yeah, I know exactly. That's why I wanted to just go ahead. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, I feel like you shouldn't be afraid to, to say anything to anybody because if you're uncomfortable where you're at, that's not fair to you. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And that's, I feel like that's somebody trying to take advantage of you if they know that's not to say anything. Agreed. But that, that's my take on it. Justified. Yeah, pretty much is wrong, wrong is wrong. It, if it works one way, it should work the other way. It shouldn't be no double standard. If a dude feel like he's um, being in a bad situation, he should be able to say it without getting ridiculed. Just like a woman should not be put in a situation where she feel like, you know, she's going to be ridiculed by telling on somebody who's making her feel uncomfortable. Fucked up one way or the other. I so agree. Justify. I know you with your daughter, man. Enjoy the movie, man. You can hang up, bro. Thank you. Thank you so much, bro. All right. Y'all take it easy. Right. All right. All right. Also, uh, uh, Chance, you can give your final thought on the um whole topic. All right, so I definitely agree. He has some explaining to do. Oh, thank and you, I think that guy, oh, yeah, he's got to explain. He had, he had me on his side until I heard about the second one. A little case. <laughs> but, I, yeah, I think that, um, I think we're at a time where males should start to feel more comfortable just speaking out about what's going on with them because it's definitely not just females. I think we're past the time where this Me Too movement shouldn't be just about females. It should be about males as well because it goes on with them. Super cool. Thank you. Baby Harris, yep. what's your final thought yeah, on this? I, I agree with the um, chance. Um, just like I think that we should be both males and females should be cautious of like what you say to people. Not be like, uh, don't say anything, but like, just be cautious of what you say and do. And just just don't like say inappropriate things or do anything inappropriate. And it's like you feel uncomfortable, just speak up like I should be doing. I know I should be doing sometimes, but I kind of get scared. I don't want to say I get scared, but like, I don't know, I just get. Mm, you get nervous. I I just, do you get nervous? Yeah. Yeah, uncomfortable, but yeah, uncomfortable, I would say. Or may, I, maybe you're not I a confrontational person. You what? Maybe you're just not a confrontational person. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not. I cool. just, Ain't I nothing just wrong with that. Yeah, so like, I'm just not working on that. Like being, trying to be like speaking up and like saying no if I feel uncomfortable. Like that's something I'm working on personally. So yeah. Cool, cool. Thank okay. you. Okay. Well, my 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 opinion is uh, JK47. <laughs> something ain't right. I just see it in his eyes. I see blood. <laughs> But um, that's not for me to judge. But <laughs> something ain't right. We're going to speak to him on a part two and get his insight. Um, I, I also think, I think, you know, no one should be sexual harassed, whether you're male or female. Um, I, I do believe if you're, you feel uncomfortable, remove yourself from this situation. Because, again, everybody is not confrontational. Everybody's not going to be aggressive. So I think, you know, everybody's space should be respected. Every, everyone should be respected. That's it. That's the name, love and respect. Everyone should be respected. You know, and if you feel uncomfortable to the point, maybe yeah, just go to somebody else and maybe let someone else ha handle that situation. So, um, we going uh this the part 1 of that. Uh we going to just call it a JK47 uh saga. But Chance baby here, thank y'all so much. Y'all did a great job. And I'm going to send y'all the thank link. Thank y'all really so much. Y'all enjoy y'all Saturday. Slumdog, I holla at you behind the scenes. Thank y'all so much. Uh, just uh, from thank Just you. for the Hell of It podcast, man, we out.